Hey everybody, I would just wanted to get on real quick. I was driving all day, so I look a little tired. But I was uh, when I was in my break time, I was I was at a place, and then I was trying to watch something on my uh, on my phone, and you know it was just one of those little shows that you just watch while you're waiting. And um, it turns out that I will always watch it before. And then this time, for some reason, it wouldn't let me, you know, just watch what I was trying to watch. And so I had to end up calling tech support because this was an app that I was using all the time. And I was always watching it and everything was no problem. But for some reason, it just stopped. And um, they asked me a question. They said, um, well, did you install any other new apps? Because the reason why I won't work is because of pirate uh, type of, um, you know, issues that will... You know, we don't want our, our our movies to be, you know, taken and duplicated. And so I said, yeah, I installed some other app, but it was, you know, it, it was fine. It was just another kind of, you know, recording app. And anyway, long story short, they said, well, you probably got to uninstall that because you you basically, and they said, and, it, and the way I took it is you let something in that wasn't, that, that didn't have access. And what it is, is it's stopping the normal flow of of what's supposed to be happening and i don't know about you but i got something out of that just by um just by what have you allowed in your life that's actually stopping god's flow that's what i see it as in, in romans chapter uh, 6 verse 16 says don't you know that when you offer yourselves to someone to obey him as slaves you are a slave to the one whom you obey whether it is a slave to sin which leads to death or obedience which leads to righteousness and so I think a lot of times we are trying to um, not only just get God to do something but just actually be, actually just flow in the in the area that we're supposed to be going in but we let something in unaware and it's stopping God's provision it's stopping God's flow and I think that uh, a lot of times most Christians can be a lot further if they check what they're what they have been watching, what they let in, what kind of things you watch on television and what kind of things you watch on your phone, what kind of things you allow in your house. You could be saved, you can love God, you can do all of these things, you can go to church, but you let other things in your life and now what's supposed to be just normal everyday things is stopping the move of God for your life. And I think, again, my people, the Bible says my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge but that just jumped out to me about downloading another app that I didn't even think about. And it interfered with something else that was normal for my, my uh, everyday use. And so maybe our prayers are being stopped because we offered ourselves servant to something else that actually took the place of being a servant of God. So again, that's in Romans chapter uh, 6, 16. Don't you know that whenever you offer yourself to someone uh, to obey him as slaves, you are a slave to the one who you obey. So whatever it is you are obeying, whatever it is that you are yielding your eyes and your ears and your mouth, the Bible talks about that you put your eyes in slavery. You put your ears in slavery. You put your mouth in slavery because you yielded those members of your body over to Satan. And I say this all the time when it comes to men, you all know where I'm going. Man, you just can't look at anything and say that I'm just looking. I'm not touching her. I'm just looking. You know, you put, I believe you put demon spirits on your eyes when you uh, just allow your eyes to look at anything. Even Job chapter one talks about, I made a covenant with my eyes not to look lustfully at a man or at a woman. Uh, and that's how I think a lot of people, and for, for, for women too, you know, you can't be um, just looking at anything and, and just saying, girl, you know, I don't know how girls talk, but I'm not going to even get into that. But I know how guys talk. And if you yield your members over to Satan, then the Bible talks about Romans chapter 6, 16, that you have, uh, since you obeyed that, now that's a slave to what you have obeyed, whether it's sin, which leads to death, 
it will give birth to sin, leads to death, or obedience that leads to righteousness. So every day we have to work out our own salvation with fear and trembling. And I don't know, I just want to drop that in for some of you all who probably are wondering why your prayers are not being answered. Maybe you downloaded something that's stopping the flow of God in your life. And that's all I got to say.